while I'm searching on Google for a new topic, and I found something interesting tool. As because this tool contains lots of amazing features. It helps a beginner to test their Android device without remembering all ADB commands and also it helps in terms of hacking. Okay, let's move on to let's find out how to install and how to use this tool. This tool name is ADB Toolkit. I thanks Mr. Ashbeni Sahu who designed the whole thing. I wish someday we meet. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button now and also press the bell icon to get notified of my upcoming videos. Visit the technoscience.site to get awesome content. Now open terminal. Here type git clone and paste the link. Now type ls to check existing files and directories. Now change the directory to the adb toolkit directory. Now type ls to check existing files and directories. Now here we need to set executable permission to install .sh. So type the following command. Now type .slash install .sh to install the adb toolkit. It may not work. Okay, let's try this. Copy and paste. This procedure may take few minutes. It installs the whole dependencies that needed to run this tool. Here, you see the installation completed. Now run this command. It will ask you to kill and restart the server. Here, just type Y. We are successfully run this tool. The tool looks like this. Okay, now connect our device and check how it works. So I plug in my Android device. Here you see it asks me to allow USB debugging. Here type 1 to check the connected device. Here you see a device is connected. Here loots of commands are there like reboot the system, reboot to fast boot, and many more. To interact with shell type number 6. It is fully similar to command base like previous videos. Type exit to exit from the shell. You can look into system dump logs. You can also install and uninstall any package. Let me show you all the installed packages that are been installed on this device. Type Q to back to the main screen. Let capture a screenshot. As it now stored in your device. You can copy WhatsApp data. I am not going to teach this on here. This is too risky. In spite of this, a section is here that is the Metasploit section. Let time 25. This is quite simple. You can generate an APK file from here and also you can install that file to the device. This task is for you. Create and apply it to access the device. If you have any queries write me below in my comment section.